Also here, we're taking a look at Mobileye this morning. Mobileye Global, ticker symbol, M-B-L-Y. Do they have an alibi? Well, shares are up by about 2.2%, so it seems so. Reporting some mixed earnings, though, for the fourth quarter, as the supplier of advanced driver assistance hardware and software saw revenue grow 59% year over year here for Mobileye. And as I mentioned, shares still holding on to some gains, although uh, it was a mixed bag on earnings. So Mobileye mm -hmm. is one of the businesses that was spun out of Intel. Mm -hmm. Now I wonder, looking at these results this morning, is Intel happy it no longer owns Mobileye or sad it no longer owns Mobileye? This is the second quarter that the company has reported as a public company here. It had a pretty successful um, IPO, so it's just interesting to see this. Uh, well, it was a company it spun up, but it, it had, but when did Intel it Intel acquired it, right. uh, right. acquired it in, to, as a play on autonomous technology. Right. Mobileye is, is seen as the lead here, but I, I think Intel is happy to have sent Mobileye packing. Now, great executives at Mobileye, doing, they have done uh, some really good things, but for Intel, it is about just focusing on what they're supposed to be doing, making great chips and taking it to AMD. Well, it's also a question of how much they might have needed the cash. Yes. And in order to put Mobileye into the equity market, um, and with that spinoff, Intel was going to be able to cash in on that investment that they made years ago as well. And so needing that cash to infuse it back into some of their own investment projects to build out the next leg of some of the fabrication that they would like to do for chips, I think it just goes to show how much they had already realized that they needed some of that money and were going to need to reinvest it back into their business. Yeah, and the it looks like the shares here are kind of bound. They were, weren't they up 3% just a second ago? Now it looks like they're bouncing between gains and losses. But, it, but again, it does show that um, when you look across the tech industry, when you look across semiconductors and other types of technologies, there are some that are seeing this sort of long-term tailwinds, right? Yeah. And definitely sort of autonomy, automotive, AI are some of those areas where we're seeing that.